All right, today I'm gonna to show you two exercises from Qigong that, in my opinion, get you to stress reduction very quickly, a lot of bang for your buck time-wise. So this should really only take a couple minutes. We're basically gonna get tension out of the body, or the way our stress stores itself physically is through the muscles and fascia as tension. So we're gonna let go of those patterns, and then we're gonna create a new pattern of breathing, mindfulness, and motion that helps to set our nervous system back to where we want it to be. So we're kind of gonna let go of the patterns that aren't serving us and start to establish some new patterns that create more health, vitality, clarity of mind. So you can totally do these seated, but join me standing if you're feeling ambitious today. And we'll start with just a little bit of shaking. So just kind of bounce throughout your body. If you've been doing Qigong a while, you've probably seen this one a lot. And it's because it's a very effective exercise. We could stretch this muscle or that muscle and get real specific about it to help get tension out of the body, but the shaking's so nice because it just gets it out of everywhere, all the little nooks and crannies that we might not have thought of. So as we shake, let's do three sighing breaths. So just take a big breath in through your nose. Sigh out the mouth. In through the nose. Out the mouth. And just let go of tension. Enjoy this beautiful mountain stream full of crystal clear water, We're making our body more like this stream, clear, free of impurities, because our body is less like a swamp, sort of holding on to toxins and tension and stagnation, and our chi, our energy is able to flow freely, which makes it more clean and clear, like a mountain river. All right, let's slow this down, pause, feel the body. You might notice a little bit of buzzing. Then we're gonna take our palms face up. This one's called raising and lowering the chi. We inhale, pull the hands up to the high chest. Flip the palms face down and exhale, push down towards the pelvis and belly. Circle around, inhale through the nose. Nice, long, slow, deep breath. Flip the palms, exhale, press down. And just repeat like that. You know, it's so helpful to do breathing exercises or practice mindfulness. And what's nice about Qigong exercises like this is we're getting our breathing exercise, our mindfulness at the same time, but we're linking them with motion. And that trifecta just seems to, to me and to many people at least, to be so much more powerful than any of those tools on their own. We know exercise and motion is good for us. We know mindfulness is good. We know breath work is good. All these things affect and tune the nervous system. But when we put them together, they're just so much more powerful. Just a few more times, slow and deep. This one is to calm the energy of the heart, which is generally associated with our emotions and our mind. Your eyes can be open or closed. Let's feel like we're pushing down our anxiety or stress. We're settling it. In Qigong, we see our emotions as energy. We don't get wrapped up in the stories about our emotions. We don't get wrapped up in our thoughts. We work with our emotions directly as we experience them, as we experience them, which is as energy. Let's do one last one. Bring it down and fold the hands over the lower abdomen. And just find a couple centering breaths here. Just feel your belly move in and out with your breath. Notice if you feel a little calmer, a little lighter, a little more centered. Part of our daily practice, we anchor that feeling into the lower dantian, the lower abdomen, our anchor point for health and vitality. We'll take a deep breath in and release with a big sigh. Good. Well, I hope that gave you a real quick tune up today, maybe a day you didn't have time, or maybe you're just new to Qigong and you're not sure you want to, you know, take off a big bite of a bigger practice yet. So do this every day if you can. Just find a little bit of time. Qigong works best with consistency. 
So you don't have to have, you know, you would be better off doing this practice every day than doing a whole hour once a week or every two weeks, right? It's the consistency that builds this new pattern in our nervous system, in our chi, in our body. And it's sort of like a river, right? The river, the more it flows over a piece of land, the more it carves that groove of the riverbed. And that makes it so that more water will accumulate in that area. And then the riverbed will carve deeper. So it's the same with our Qigong practice. We're carving a new channel, a new riverbed for where we want our energy to flow, how we want it to flow, what form we want it to take. And so it's just this consistent practice that makes this happen. This river, it doesn't need a flood to create this riverbed. It just needs to go over that same spot every day with some light pressure. And that's the same way we want to think about our Qigong practice. Hope you enjoyed. My name is Nick Laffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and you'll see more great nature and Qigong content like this.